Good morning. I have the most amazing, incredible view I'm looking at. Rolling hills. It's the morning. It's the Saturday morning. And I wanted to check in on you. I have a particular topic I'd like to discuss uh, about leadership and the processes that we may go through in becoming a leader and the adversity and the difficulties. I can see rolling hills out the back. I'm in the Barossa region in South Australia, which I never realised I would fall in love with. I've travelled around Australia and one of the reasons I've travelled around Australia is grief. And it's interesting, the most amazing experiences I've had as a result of grief. I have had a, a car accident uh, months ago, as you know, where my wheels went uh, into a rut and two tyres blew. And I was stuck in this desert area and there were kangaroos and red earth and it was just beautiful. It was such a stark contrast. The incredible beauty of nature and Australia contrasted with the grief I was going through at that time and still process. It's interesting experiencing incredible joy, majestic joy at the same time as experiencing grief. We're funny like that, us old humans. We can carry a number of emotions at once. And I think the practice of balancing various emotions at the same time is part of the formula, the balancing formula of mental health. We know that one of the variables of compromised mental health is only focusing on one emotion. Pure happiness, pure sadness, grief, anger is one of the hallmarks, one of the earmarks of compromised mental health and can be part of the diagnosis of a various, various uh, disorders and syndromes in mental health. So I now live permanently in the Barossa region in South Australia. I never thought this would happen. In my life journey, and I was speaking with my, or chatting with my daughter the other day and her business dreams and goals, I was talking about how we can have a particular roadmap laid out for us. And we think we're going to be an X and we're going to do everything in order to be a good X. And then life blindsides you and your dreams are wrenched away, ripped away, fall by the wayside. And you know, that is the incredible cacophony of life. Life tends to do that. We uh, have these amazing plans and then they, they go awry. That doesn't mean we don't have plans. What is that phrase? Planning to fail. Fla failing to plan is planning to fail. So setting goals, having dreams is admirable and honourable as long as we honour the moment. But the ability to be resilient and get back up no matter what is what makes us truly amazing as human beings. I wanted to talk about a phrase or a, a saying my father had. You know, I, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I, I constantly refer back to what my father said. I have incredible admiration for him, which really was only catalyzed once he passed, which is interesting. I don't think we can truly know our love for anybody until they are gone. Because when we have something, how do we truly know how much we love it if we have it in our hands? It is only when our hands are empty or our cup is empty that we truly know the depth 
and the the meaning of love or uh, uh, gratitude. So my parents are past and um, I look back on experiences with them with such, I'll just get that phone. I apologize for that. I have two phones, isn't that life? You have this plan and then suddenly the phone rings. Gee whiz, the, the view here is absolutely amazing. Just amazing. I was talking about my father. One of the sayings my father had is he would say, in the theater of life, when we look upon the stage and there is a leader upon the stage of life, Souls, people who are destined to lead, will look up and say, how, how did that person, that soul, become a leader? What do I need to do to become a leader? Aren't they amazing being a leader? And someone who is destined to be a leader respects leadership qualities in other leaders. Somebody who is a follower is more likely to say, why are they there and not me? That's not fair. I wanted to talk, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I've eaten uh, hazelnuts, so they're stuck in my throat. I wanted to talk about that. So we are herd, a herd animal. We are a tribal animal by nature, physically, biologically. We have a internal, innate need to follow and to become a community. We thrive in a, a positively structured community. But our community requires some leadership. Most people may be threatened, how do I put this? The human animal is threatened by difference. The human animal is threatened by anything that is different. We need to process difference. Now this is the human animal. I'm not saying this is a wonderful attribute, but it is human. We struggle with difference and we need to process it. So when someone has a different opinion or is different or has a new idea, it is innate to, the, to human nature to resist that. In Australia, we have a saying, it's called the tall poppy syndrome. And it is a saying about tearing down the tall poppies. So tall poppies are a flower in Australia that, that grow tall. And we call it the tall poppy syndrome. As soon as someone is a tall poppy, or they're tall, or they're a leader, we as humans pull them down, or tend to pull them down. If you have a goal, if there is a journey you would like to walk, don't expect people to carry you. People are generally threatened by difference. The difference between extraordinary and ordinary is a little extra. If you want to produce a little extra, if you want to be a little extra, if you want to be weird, people are going to single you out, they're going to reject you. So what does this mean? It means you keep going. If you want to be a lion in life, don't ask the sheep its opinion. If you want to be a lion in life, know the journey of a lion. If you want to create new ideas, forge new paths, these are new and they're new for a reason. No one has trod, no one has stepped these paths before. Expect rejection. Expect to be called weird. When I started YouTube, 
many years ago. And if you've been with me for a while, you, you will have heard this story. I received enormous, incredible hate from people. And I found it quite shocking. A lot of these people were people I know. And it took me some time to understand that this is the measure of success. One of the features of success is that people will reject you. It's almost as if when you're rejected, you go, yay, I'm winning. Someone's rejecting me. If you want to achieve in life, what is achievement? Is gathering something, collecting something, learning something, achieving something, uh, setting a goal. There will always be the naysayers. Always. As soon as you are different, someone may call you weird. Being weird. It is the weird people in life that truly create a difference. That are truly pioneers. If we look through history. Let's be like my father and look up on the stage of life and look at some leaders and say, how did they get up there? How can I uh, contribute? How can I add to someone's life? How can I serve rather than, why did they get up there? That's not fair. Life is not fair. No one's gonna rescue us. And the more we try, the more we set ourselves up to succeed, the less fair life is going to be. Remember, human beings, you, we are resilient. We always can get up. I've got some new content coming up. If you're new to this channel, please share, please comment. You can follow me on Patreon if you would like. Listen to my podcast, Sleep Meditation with Lauren Ostrowski Fenton. Please subscribe and remember, being different is amazing. The difference between uh, ordinary and extraordinary is a little extra. Don't be afraid to be a little extra. I'll have new content up soon. Take care.